there have been a couple of people making different power distribution boards for the ZMR 250s. Well, this one came from Banggood. This is a ZMR 250 power distribution board made by a diatone. And looks like this board um, is pretty simple in comparison to some of the others, but the price tag is also simple, around $8. This one comes with all your uh, connections on here for your battery and your ESCs. It also has a 5 volt output, and there's also, I believe, a 12 volt output around here somewhere. And well, in addition to that, it also comes with these LEDs that can solder onto it to help with the uh, orientation. Anyway, I'm going to get this open and we'll do some measurements on it. So this is the board itself. Uh, let's start over here on the bottom because it'll be quick. It has a uh, location here where you can solder on your LED board that they included with, you, with it and one on the back also. And they gave you four of these little strips and there's only two places to solder them on but I guess they just assumed that you might screw up the first time so they gave you a second one. Now the top of the board, it does have the 12 volt output here and it has a 5 volt output here and there's also a 5 volt output down here. And you can see if you follow the traces they're just going back here to this uh, voltage reducer here and this one here is going back to the 12 volt voltage reducer there for 12 volts so but one other thing that's neat on here is you know you not only do you have your battery input or your battery input depending on which side you make the front you also have these uh, solder points here positive and negative for your ESC positive and negative for the you know the second ESC and the third and the fourth but in addition to those there's also this little point here this is for your signal wire now if you're running um, ESCs that don't have BECs on them, then this is what you want to use because you'll run your signal wire to here and the, the ESC that comes from here, you'll run into this one. And these points, there's also two on the back, but they all run right up here to these little four points here so you can run wires from here to your flight board like your NASA 32 or your KK2 board or your CC3D board. And that way you don't have you don't have to have the wires strung across your flight board. Now if you're using a BEC from your flight can, from your uh, ESC to power your flight board, you will have to have at least one wire running back to your flight board so that you know you can have some power to it. If you're using opto ESCs, the ones that don't have uh, BECs built into them, you can either get a separate BEC or you can use this 5 volt output here to actually power your flight board. And even if you are using ESCs that have BECs built into them, you can still power your flight board off this 5 volts out. Now you just have to remember that this 5 volts uh, output here is also being shared with the 5 volts output here as you can kind of tell by this trace that's running through the board. But the big advantage of doing that is that you don't have all these wires strung from your ESCs back here to your flight board because the power will go to the positive and negative here, the signal will go to here, and then pop out here and connect to your flight controller. I have the scale teared out to zero here, so we'll go ahead and we'll weigh the board by itself. Looks like it's 33.3 grams, and if we add on the four LED uh, strips, it moves up to 35.9 grams, so it's not too heavy. Let's see how thick this flight board is. Set this to zero, open it up. About 1.62, maybe 1.6 average, I guess maybe, depending on where I grip it. Let's check down here, see if it's pretty consistent. Oh yeah, very consistent. That's, that's actually surprising that it's that consistent. All right, well that's good. Let me go ahead and get the power hooked up to it. Here I have this battery connector soldered on, and I have a three cell battery. I'll go ahead and hook this up to it. So now the board is actually powered on. If we get the voltage reading coming off of the battery itself, it comes in about 12.78, 12.79. So we'll go ahead and check this pad, this pad over here. 12.79, that's good. Check the one over here on this side. And take my word for it, it's 12.76. And we'll check the ones up here in the front, see how they're coming out. 12.77. Uh, 12.77. Good, all right, so all the ESC ones are working. We'll go ahead and we'll check the uh, 12 volt output here. Now this one shouldn't should be close to 12 volts, we'll see. Comes in at 11.73, 11.72, and the one up here, the 5 volt output, is registering at 5.1, 5.11. So that's not too bad, that's good. Okay, I have a 4 cell battery here. I'll go ahead and hook this up to the power distribution board and we'll get some measurements off of it. 
the uh, input power, we'll check it first. 16.3 and the 12 volt output is doing 12.0. Okay, well that's pretty good. And the 5 volt output is doing 5.08. Good, and th this is probably just about putting the normal voltage. Yeah, 16.3. Good. One thing to remember about this power distribution board is that these are voltage reducers. They're going to reduce the voltage to 12 volts and reduce the voltage to 5 volts. So if you put a, a two cell battery on here, you know, it's only going to output 7.4 volts. And so your output from here is going to be the same thing as your 2S battery. So don't expect this to like increase your voltage or step it up. One other thing about this board is there's no LC filter on it, a low current filter for your camera. So if you're getting horizontal lines in your camera from your, your FPV camera because you're powering off of this 5 volt output, you might have to invest in a low current uh, filter so that your power is actually clean instead of, you know, kind of varying around because of the power of your uh, ESC's draining power off your battery. And a low current uh, filter will just take it and smooth out your p voltage to the camera so that the wavy lines don't show up in there. So anyway, this is the power distribution board from Diatone. This is like eight bucks on Banggood. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.